Today, we're talking about Mega Man. <gasps> Yay! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Weekday One Up. We're I, talking about Mega Man. I wasn't aware of it before. Uh, he was just like, hey, they're doing a new Mega Man thing. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, what were we talking about? And he was like, sit down. Yeah. And I, I just turned everything on. And I was like, we're talking about Mega Man. And he's like, what? Yeah. If you don't know, I'm a big Mega Man fan. Well, he's got the Mega Man hat on and everything. And did you just realize that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yep. It was my favorite snapback. So they announced something. He doesn't know about it yet. I'm going to read it. What is it? Um, hold on, there's an ad. I'm not going to read it yet, though, because I do want to tell you guys that we're going to have a panel at Anime Midwest. Yes. Around 4th of July. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be on Sunday, 10 a.m. It's not called Weekday 1-Up. It's called... Convention Reviews. Convention Reviews and Getting Into YouTube. Something like that. I can't remember exactly what I called it. The email, they didn't tell me what it was called. I forgot. Yeah, we'll see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll know when we'll, we see it. We'll but... see it and we'll be like, hey, we should go to that. <laughs> <laughs> we should go in, though. We should go in. I was thinking we th we should either go in like oh. all in like shades with coffee and stuff, and like just ignore the crowd at first, or we should go in in the crowd. Yeah, we should go in in the crowd, sit down, and be yeah, like, just like sit then in the like middle one of us like, stand up with like a. We should go in with like masks on. We're telling them all now. Okay. We could go in though and stand up and be like, "When's it gonna start?" Yeah, exactly. And uh. then be and then be like, turn around, and be like, "Hey." Should we do that for our first panel? Yeah. We're gonna be nervous, bro. No, I'm gonna we'll, be nervous. We'll do it one day. Not yeah, our first, not our first. We'll do it for a weekday one. Besides, we already told him we were gonna do this, so we gotta save that. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do that someday. We're also gonna have a Kigurumi party. Kigurumi party. Not sure when. You guys need to let us know what's a good time for you. Friday, Saturday, one of those days, really. Yeah, so let us know. It's gonna be later in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe during the rave. I don't know, but that's okay. We we'll have plenty of rave we can go to. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, tell me about Mega Man. I'm ready. All right, my body is ready. Last week, oh, hold on. last week we learned that Capcom has a new producer for Mega Man, mm -hmm. which is good because Capcom's been going. <laughs> they should really just sell it to Nintendo. They should. Nintendo. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. They've already announced their next release, Mega Man Legacy Collection. Okay. The first six games in the original 8-bit series are all included but with an added HD flair. Additionally, Mega Man Legacy Collection includes a massive museum of Mega Man artwork, history, and more. A new challenge remix mode, online leaderboards, and video replays. All this content comes in one bundle for $14.99, hitting the PS4, Xbox One, PC this summer, and 3DS this winter. Have you been making that face all the time? Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're excited? Yeah, I'm excited. It's a bundle of things. I don't have a PS4 yet. It's not Mega Man X. Isn't that your favorite? It is my favorite, but I do... Because I'm playing Mega Man 2 on my 3DS right now. I bought it in the eShop uh -huh. for five bucks. Check it out. Um, You're going to have to replay it now. I don't care. I will. <laughs> it's really fun. Are you just going to get this on your 3DS? I don't know. I really You'll have want... to wait till winter. If, I'm get, if I have the option, if I, I might have a PS4 by the winter. You know? Mm, will you? I might. I guess you never know. Nothing's impossible. So. But. That's amazing. Okay, so talk to us about Mega Man. Tell us your history with Mega Man. Tell us all about Mega Man because we're doing a Mega Man episode. Alright, my history with Mega Man begins way back with the Game Boy Advance era. Does it really? Slightly. My mom happened to. I had a Game Boy Advance SP, and my mom happened to cross like, like a yard sale or something. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network 3 White version and that i remember as a kid picking it up and being like mega man because i remember liking the cartoon as a kid mm -hmm. looking back it's a really cheesy cartoon never seen it it's awful is it kind of like the sanic cartoon no the sanic cartoon was actually good tales i liked tales the sanic cartoon was really good the mega man cartoon it was it took itself seriously oh it was one of those cartoons that 
Yeah. Kind of like that Dragon Ball Z cartoon. Yeah, whatever that. Garbage. Movie. Stupid. But um, some people thought we were serious there. I guarantee. I you. know we're not serious. Dragon Ball's awesome. They clicked away before we could like. <laughs> They're gone. We can't get them back. We <laughs> see our subscriber count go down. <laughs> it just plummets. But after that, my history of Mega Man X, I was maybe nine, and because I didn't, it was weird because Mega Man uh, Battle Network's a lot more like Pokemon, where oh, really? it's top down. Oh okay. So you kind of walk around. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know what was going on. Um, so I, uh, a year, a little over a year ago, I was uh, dating a girl, and her roommate was playing Mega Man X, and I was like, "Well, that looks X1? cool." X one. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, that looks cool." And I was talking to him. He was like, "You should play it sometime." And I was like, "All right, all right, I might." And then, um, I um. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then I got an emulator um, and got the... We don't recommend emulators just because we've done it in the past. Don't follow our bad example. Yeah. Um, I Support. Got a, it's just... It's better. These just, games are really, really hard to find now. Yeah. Like, so that's the only reason to do? you do it. But um, I got an emulator and I played it and it was amazing. Like, I was like, this game is awesome. And then I found, you know, Eagle Raptors, uh, Sequelitis about Mega Man and Mega Man X. Um, and it's just... Just Mega Man X is just so good. I'm replaying it right now because I actually got the cartridge for my Superboy. Oh, yeah. And I'm almost... I remember when you got that. We're going to talk about that tomorrow, actually. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to talk a little, little bit about Momocon tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and it, it was just... I'm already almost beating it. It's a, The way you're supposed to... Is it not that long? It Not really. It felt a lot longer when I was playing it on the emulator. I don't know why. It was like almost harder. But the way you're supposed to play it... It's almost easier. The only thing that made it easier on an emulator is you have save states. You have that on the 3DS, too. Yeah, but uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah, save states are amazing. And then I played Mega Man X 2, and I that's honestly my favorite. Um, I hear Mega Man 3 is one of the best games. Mega Man 3? Uh, I haven't played 3. I've seen the Game Grumps play it, and it's it looks really fun. But I mean, That's Colin's favorite. My favorite of the original Mega Man, I've only played one, is uh, Mega Man 2. Oh, okay. And it's considered to be the best one out of the original six, um, and because it's got some of the more some of the most like iconic bosses. You got Cut Man. You got uh, Quick Man. Yeah, uh, no, Cut Man was uh, the first game. Which, Heat Man. Uh, was, yeah, Heat Man was in there, but I know stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, the thing about Mega Man game, the original series, which was cool. How many are there? Six? Is that all of them? Of the original, it goes to, I think, ten. Oh, so this collection's only going to have six. Yeah, it's going to have the original six. Cause they are had, those the ones that are 8-bit? Yeah. All the other they ones. They had, like, s- like, seven to eight, not, and they were for, they were for the uh, Super DS? Nintendo. Oh. Did you say DS? Yeah, there's, still, there's some on the DS. Oh, no. Um, uh, seven, I've seen eight. them. I know. I, oh, I, okay. I'm not disagreeing with you, but no. But the the thing about the original, what I found about Mega Man Two at least is that the stages are challenging. Like you got to really be precise with a lot of the stuff, and the bosses are fairly simple. Because what you got to do, if you don't know, when you in Mega Man, at least Mega Man and Mega Man X, I don't know about Battle Network. I haven't got very far in it, and uh, uh, some of the others. When you defeat a boss, you abs- you absorb their power. So like, Woodman, he has a, a leaf shield. Yes, <laughs> Woodman. He has a leaf shield. When I'm ki- twelve. <laughs> shut up. When you uh oh, we broke. A ru- I just broke a rule. Never tell you to shut up. Um, I was joking. I know, but um, you absorb his leaf shield and you can use that, and then you move to the next boss and. There are actually certain bosses that are weak against the power you just woke up. I'm explaining this to him. You guys probably are. I've never played it. And I'm sure there's viewers who've not played it. But that's how Mega Man, the original uh, series in X, works. You defeat a boss, you absorb the power, you go to the next boss, and then you have like a huge, like. It's like Zelda. Mm-hmm. Well. Well, where like you get an item and you use that item. To oh yeah, it. yeah. But then you I have... Uh, boss-wise, but... Huh? 
Like, not boss-wise. Yeah, but then Mega Man X comes in, and it just does everything that the Mega Man series did, and just makes it even better. Like, in my opinion. I only know as much about uh, up to Mega Man X3, which I didn't really care for. Um, you gotta play all the rest of them. I, I know. There's a lot in the Mega Man X series. It goes up to, like, eight, and I didn't know that till like, a few weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Maybe they'll make an HD collection. I've played four. I Is pl- it good? It's not that good. Dang, man, what the heck? What's wrong but, with it? But I looked it up. Four is actually considered the, the worst one in the series. What's the rest wrong of, with it? It's just... I, they tried something new. It was the first time it was on... It wasn't on Super Nintendo. It was on PlayStation. Oh. Um, and it was the first game that... this And this was awesome. You get to play as Zero, who is the coolest character in the entire Mega Man franchise. Well, what's wrong with that? It, it's just... You'd have to play it. I mean, it's it, kind of like playing uh, the Shadow game. The Shadow game. From Sonic the Hedgehog. Kind of. You play a Shadow, but it's like... Well, sort of, but the difference is you can play as both of them, which you think would be cool, but I didn't personally like it that much because I feel like it was they were trying to experiment with something, and then I and then I looked it up, and the other ones had better reviews. They probably got their... They're like, okay, we did this wrong in this game. Let's do this again, but let's make it better. Oh, okay. And... Um, then actually, Zero has his own series, which I want to get the Mega Man Zero series, which I oh, oh I want, I want it so bad. My friend Sam is playing it. Another so train, amazing. another train. But well, yeah, first one for this episode. But yeah, well, all right, guys, that's been your Mega Man fix. Are you guys excited for this new Mega Man collection? So I don't know. Wow. So I don't know a lot about the other series. You know, I'm playing Battle Network Three right now. Uh, I want to play Legends really bad for the PS One because I hear for the 64 it's garbage. Um, and then I probably won't go to Star Force because it's get everywhere I've looked, it's got bad reviews. Yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. You don't even know. Never even heard of it. Yeah, you better say, you don't even know. Let us know about your guys' Mega Man love in the comments below. We'll start the Mega Man anime. And it's time for the question of the day. Michael Q. Hey, buddy. Asks. He always asks about Five Nights at Freddy's, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not complaining. We just don't know a ton about it. We I know, know an okay amount. I know a lot more than I've seen Game Theory on. All the game yeah, theory that's on. true. But like, I don't know. Okay. He asks, "What do you guys think about the new Five Nights at Freddy's nightmare versions of the animatronics?" I literally have no idea what that is. I don't either. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what the nightmare versions are. Yeah, I don't either. That. Is that a more recent question? Yeah. It, the only thing I know is if it's supposed to be for the final chapter coming out in Halloween. Ooh. That's maybe a, that's what it's about. That's the only thing I know, but I haven't seen it. I also haven't played... I've seen enough of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. The only one I've seen is Golden Bonnie. Yeah. Because that's like the main one of that game. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what that is. I, I mean, I guess I can look it up really quick. Yeah, look it up real quick. Google it really fast. Man, you know what sounds good? Five Nights at Freddy's Nightmare Animatronics. What sounds good? Freaking nachos. I think you're just hungry. I am starving. Images. Oh, wow. They're creepy. Look. Oh, wow. I think they're awesome. That is... That's crazy awesome. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really cool. I can't wait to see cosplays of it. Yeah. There's a really good Foxy cosplay at Momocon. He came up and scared me. He did. He, he was like, oh no. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It looks like they've got teeth Pac-Man? inside their teeth. It looks like like there's the animatronics have another suit on almost. Well, the way it works is uh, the suits, they doubled as like they could be over a, ske- over a roboskeleton or someone could wear them. See, look, there's teeth inside of them. Yeah. You need to watch finish the game theory. That'll explain your question there. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks tight. I think it looks great. I want to play more Five Nights at Freddy's. I just don't. So I, I jump scare easily. Really? It's not even that scary. I know it's not scary, but I, you know me. I jump oh, scared. yeah, I forgot you're a little scary scared. I'm not a scaredy cat. I like scary movies. I said scaredy scared. You bah, you fight me when we try and watch scary movies on Bro Night. That's because I'm not in the mood to be like... Because uh-huh. I like I like psychological uh-huh. stuff that really actually scares me. I don't like jump scare stuff that's like... Uh, then uh. Watch, uh, watch another. Another? Will it, so good. Will it scare me? Yeah. Will it scare me or will it just make me question life? No, it's not a question life when it's scary. It's a horror. Hmm. It's really it's good. It's a horror? 
Yeah, it's a whore. Damn. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow us right here. Um, this is our Instagram. Twi yeah. Twitter. You started it. I'll do the rest. Okay. You can follow us all there. Snapchat too. Yeah, yeah. All there. Yeah, it's real good. Good times. And do uh, this. so yeah, but when you share this video, or if you want to leave us fan arts, or if you want to uh, just do anything with us, screen caps anything, make sure you hashtag WD One Up. Yeah. Just do that. <laughs> WD One Up. And don't forget to stay nerdy. Yeah, definitely. Do that. We'll see you guys with. With uh, some guest stars tomorrow. Oh. Stay nerdy, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And read the description to find our other channels, plus our Twitch, and more. Nice, bro. You should keep that in. <laughs>